Hello everybody and welcome to the Epic Car Show. Now today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to clean glass without any chemicals. Now so many people have been badgering me about doing this video so I've just got to get it done and get it out of my system because I want to show you a method that I've been using for the last 15 years and I guarantee it will work and I know some of you out there are probably going to look at it and want to comment something and say no it doesn't work but I want to put this to the test with you guys as well. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do it and how to get that perfect finish without chemicals. So let's take a look at what you're going to need. Firstly you're going to need a warm bucket of water you're also going to need a synthetic chamois, aka a flunky. You're also going to need a large microfiber towel. This is a flunky. Now, if you've never heard of one of these, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. They are synthetic chamois levers. So, no, they're not like your traditional chamois levers, which you should never use on a car, by the way. And to be honest, you probably shouldn't use these on your own paintwork. But for glass, I think these are the best thing that you can use. And I'm going to tell you why. So what happens is, as you're wiping away, it will actually absorb all the grease out of the glass or anything that's on there. But what happens is, as you wipe, you will squeeze water onto the glass as well. So what I like to do is make sure that I do it in a crisscross pattern. So up, down, up, down. Yeah, left, right and left, right. So what will then happen is that will take it all off. And then what you need is some really good quality towels. Now these ones, I've had these for years from Halfords. And I know they say you only get like a, you know, so many washes before they go funny. I don't know, like I think these ones are actually better. Nothing fluffed up and I'll show you what I mean. So again, we're going left, right, left, right, up, down. So there's no lint on that whatsoever. Now I'm going to do the inside because there's no point in me saying, oh, that looks amazing when you can see that there's clearly smears inside the glass on the other side. Just a top tip, get those windows down just a tab because you want to make sure that the glass looks perfect all the way around the edges. I see it so many times where car valeters just ignore it and then you get customers complaining saying, oh, the glass isn't clean. They always look at the glass first. Don't forget that. So it's vitally important that you get it perfect and you get it perfect first time because going back and forth will only slow you down and at the end of the day you want to make as much money as possible and you want to be as quick as possible as well. Now this glass is absolutely perfect. Now the sunlight is breaking through. So I'm, I'm actually hope it does break through because I want to show you guys how good it looks in the direct sunlight because that is one of the major problems that a lot of valeters and detailers have. They just hate cleaning the glass in the sunlight and I don't blame them. But the problem with that is the fact that chemicals can react when you've got the UV rays and the heat coming down. It will cause a chemical reaction and that's sort of why you get those white smears. So ultimately, you're going to be avoiding all of that just by using water. So I'm now going to tell you why the smears actually happen and it's quite a simple thing to explain because what happens is, I mean this is something that happens a lot in the summer, the heat actually comes through the glass and it intensifies it. So what's happening is, these have got a lot of CO2 in. On the dashboard, you've got all sorts of plastics and vinyls. What happens is the sun will heat them up and it will cause gases to raise. Now, because they're not visible, you, you, you can't see gas actually raising up. But I'll try and give you an example. Like when you're watching a Formula One race, you can see all the heat coming off the track. It's a bit like that. So again, it's something as well when you're driving, you've got it shut and you've got all these gases coming in and, and you're breathing them as well. It's a... It's something quite scary to think about because they're the sort of things that we can't see, but we are breathing in a lot of CO2. So it is the CO2 that comes off the dashboard, which is then going up onto the windscreen. And remember, there's also this to consider as well for the winter. You've got your heaters on, you're blowing all this sort of air from the outside. Now, if you're in places like London, and I see it so many times whenever I'm in London doing a car in the city or anything like that, they always have terribly smeary uh, windscreens. And that is because all the pollution's being sucked up and the filter can only do so much but it's still coming through and when you've got your windscreen heaters on it all you're doing is just putting co2 
up on the glass so that's one of the major reasons you get the smears so what happens is people normally just spray glass cleaner on and then all of a sudden they've now got another chemical that they've got to try and get off and it's all well and good doing it when you've got the shade but not everybody's lucky enough to have a garage and cool temperatures to do it sometimes you're out there in the sun and it is burning dry in seconds and then you've got the gases which are coming up they're coming up every second by the way this is not something where they just you know they only come out at night or whatever as soon as that sun's on it they're going to be raising so it is really important to have a clean bucket of water and have a couple of these i mean they're like five or each barely that and they're really good so what i'm going to show you is again the same method that i'm going to use the crisscrossing pattern and before you comment saying oh why didn't you lean across it because you're leaning on the steering wheel i'm doing it for filming so shut up and anyway if you try to lean over an s max i, I hate those silly videos all we got to do is lean over at an angle well that's a bit difficult have you seen this you can actually have the last supper on here it's such a big dashboard I mean look I can barely reach anyway so there's no way I'm going to reach over there so before you comment saying oh why didn't you lean over to the other side there's your answer one thing I will add about this method is the fact you will get a wet dashboard so um make sure you've got an old towel or something you can just sort of wipe it up afterwards but it really does work and I'm not just saying it I genuinely mean it I've been doing this method for 15 years and it's never ever done me wrong so that's why I don't use glass cleaner and the only time I would use glass cleaner is if it is really really horrendous or we've got any glue residue from any stickers that have been on the windows things like that obviously you can't just rely on water you need that but I also use steam as well sometimes and that works just as well and you're not breathing in anything toxic either so that actually looks pretty good to me there is zero smears on the inside i haven't done the outside but i'm going to jump out now and take care of that so i can show you how good it looks one thing i will mention is if you don't have a flunky then you can actually use a clean microfiber cloth dunk it in the water i don't think it actually gets the same effect but that's just my own personal opinion and I always make sure that when I do wash the glass cloths, I do them completely separate because I don't want to start cross-contaminating, especially if you've used interior cleaner on some cloths and you're mixing it all up. And I know the washing machine will clean it, but it just won't be perfect enough. Now, I don't want you thinking that I'm all anti-glass cleaner and things like that because I still do use it occasionally. But I'm saying for my normal valets where, you know, they're really not that bad. They just need a wipe over. I actually think it's better to do it this way because instead all you're going to be doing is spraying chemical upon chemical upon chemical. And after a year of constantly doing it, I think you're probably going to do more harm than good. So this way is 100% safe. Again, if you want to use deionized water, please do. But you have to make sure that you wipe it afterwards. I know there's window cleaners out there who just sort of clean your glass with a dis deionized stuff, but I don't rate it at all, not really. I mean, it still leaves some sort of marks. I, I, it's just one of those things. So for me, get it dry as quick as possible. And, you, and you're not gonna go wrong with this method. I mean, that looks absolutely perfect. There is no smears. I wish I actually had like a direct sunlight day to show you guys just how good it is and just to prove that this method works. So look, give it a go. And again, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these from. All you need is a bucket of warmish water, a dry towel and a flunky. That is all you need to get clean glass. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Have you given it a go? Do you think it will work? Or do you think I'm talking out my backside? Leave us a comment and I'll reply. I'll see you later. Bye bye.